Now I'm going to do a demonstration of some of the Q119 sequencing features. I'm not going to have any audio for this part, we're just going to look at the pattern, so I'll remove most of the patch cores to get them out of the way. We're going to start with the 1x24 mode, and the cycle mode is going to be continuous, the sequence mode is going to be up, and we hit the start button, and it begins sequencing. And what you see right here is as slow as it will run with the internal clock. I can run it faster. That's the maximum speed on the low range. If I switch to the high range, I get this, which the camera may not be able to pick up. And that's the slowest speed on the high range, and we'll switch back to the low range. And hit stop. And you'll notice that when I stop it, every time I hit start again, it goes back to step one. And the way to fix that is to Press the set M button, hold it, and then press manual step. Now we're in the continuous mode. When we stop a sequence and then start it again, it will continue where it left off. And we'll set that back to the reset mode. And we can see now that every time we hit start, it goes back to step one. We're now going to put it in the up-down sequence mode and demonstrate the effect of that. Hit start. And you can see as it hits, hits step 24, it then goes backwards. It goes back to step 1. And we'll stop that. So we're going to go back to the sequence up mode and now we're going to put the cycle switch in once. We hit start, it goes through the cycle once and it stops on the final step. If we put that in the up-down mode and hit start, it goes through the cycle, comes back, and it stops on step one. We can use the set in button to set a shorter sequence. We press the button, the light flashes rapidly and you have to keep pressing the button the set end button to advance it to the step that you want and then let it go. Now we're on a 12 step sequence. So if we start that, we now have a 12 step sequence. It's still in the up down mode and once. So we'll switch this back so we can show the effect. So it's only doing a 12 step sequence now. If I press the go button and hold it down, the sequencer runs for as long as I hold the go button. When I let it up, it stops. <clears throat> and these, uh, these start-stop buttons have, have trigger jacks that can do the same thing as pressing the button. The go button has a gate jack that will cause the sequencer to run as long as the gate is high. Now we're going to go to random mode. And to do that, we're going to hold down random step and set end. And then we hit start. We are now in the random mode, where it's choosing steps randomly. And we left the set in setting on 12, so it will not step to anything past 12. So that is still in effect, even though we're now in the random mode. However, the cycle mode and the sequence mode switches have no effect in the random mode. Okay, let's get rid of that. Now we're going to go to 3 of 8 mode and hit start. And as you can see, all three rows are sequencing at once. Slow that down. All the cycle settings are still in effect in 3 by 8 mode. I can hit cycle once and it will go to step 8 and stop. I can set sequence up down and it will go up to step 8, back to step 1 and stop. And I can set the random mode. That was not the random mode. There we go. And the random mode does work in the 3 by 8 mode. As you can see, it always chooses a column. It won't separate the rows. There's nothing in here that will make the rows act separately. Also on the panel here is we have a switch that changes the outputs from 
bipolar going from minus 5 to plus 5 and 0 volts would be at the knob in the center to unipolar from 0 to plus 5 2 and a half volts is not a 0 it's about, about where that knob is, about 1 3 quarters and set in does work in this 3 by 8 mode I can hit set in and so I set it to 6 and now I hit start we're still in random mode Still in random mode. There we go. Now hit start. Change the sequence to up. Slice so continuous. And now we're counting on steps, six step sequence. This is all using the internal clock. If I switch that to external clock, there's no clock plugged in, so it's not going to run. And that is the Q119 sequencer.